What's up, Internet? Big J with Big J's Extreme Fitness here at the original Metroflex Gym, Arlington, Texas, with the owner and CEO of Metroflex Gym, Brian Dobson, crushing it on the vertical grip. Now, you probably won't see a lot of this on the Internet or even on the grip communities, but we had a fantastic time. There's no handle whatsoever. We're just using the actual iron mine loading bin and standing above it, grabbing it, and picking it up. That's vertically lifting it. It does require a lot of forearm strength. And uh, yeah, you're gonna get stronger yeah, yeah. and get a little bit bigger with the progressive overload. So we started out with a six, or actually we started out with a plate, did a few reps, warming up, and went to a plate and a quarter, warmed up a little more, two plates and a, and a dime, then two plates and a quarter, then three plates, and three plates and a dime, three plates and a quarter, I believe is what the sequence is. I'll put all the weights down in the description box. But this is another fantastic way to get those forearms bigger and stronger. I know there's a lot of people that have done grip training that are 10 times stronger than I am, thousands of people out there but this is really good for me i used to grip train back in the day with paul knight and tommy and and uh charles and everybody else that have done this uh, i learned a lot from them but i've uh, uh i hate to say this but i've fallen off the grip bandwagon i'm back on it this is actually my fourth week of training grip on wednesday after an arm workout so we're good and warm but this is what we're using the iron mine loading pin Okay, there's, there's a little bevel down at the bottom where you can put your plates on anywhere from a two and a half up to a 45 or even a hundred. But you can see there's the iron mine label there. It's been torn off uh, because of the use. But you just stand above it, you reach down, grab a hold of it, use as much chalk as you need or not any at all and uh, pick it up. And we started again with lighter weight for f a few reps. We were trying to kind of find out where we were PR wise so we can kind of develop a program for our next vertical bar lift. Now. I have posted one video. I've actually got 30 or 40 videos on grip training, but recently one video with the Rolling Thunder uh, that if you guys have been watching that, uh, we'll see another video that I actually recorded but haven't posted yet with this Iron Mine Hub. And then of course with the grippers. Now I'm gonna be doing one grip workout a week. It's probably not enough, uh, but it is helping me. Uh, I actually did some double overhand thumbless, beltless deadlifts and straps, no straps, deadlifts. And that's gone up a very uh, a huge amount because back when I was grip training, I was barely able to pull 500 uh, double overhead, thumbless, strapless, beltless for one rep, and I just did 510 for four. So I think this is definitely helping my grip. Uh, uh, my size is coming back. My strength is definitely coming back. So maybe once a week is good enough. I'm not sure. Everybody reacts differently according to their nutrition, uh, their training programs, their rest, their training habits, etc. So hope you guys enjoyed the clip. Once again, just using the old Iron Mind uh, loading pin. It's five pounds. You put more on it. You add your five and you figure out what the weight is. Try to follow a program, guys. I will start writing more stuff about this the type of program that I'm following, the reps, the sets, and stuff like that later on. But right now, uh, just trying to get back into it. Hope you guys enjoyed these clips. Until next time, Tits of the Rules, train hardcore. Get those forearms bigger and stronger for that good old handshake. And field work, too. Actually, great for working out as well. You got to have a good grip strength to do any kind of training at all to be productive. We'll see you next video.